Attention football fans who are thinking of heading to Miami. The Department of Transportation is warning this morning about Super Bowl travel scams. Our travel editor, Peter Greenberg, is here with advice on how to protect yourself. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Maggie. Like Harry said, such an important conversation yeah. for us to have today. Well, you know, the game may have gone into overtime last night, but the scam artists have already been in overtime, and now they're targeting the fans in Indianapolis and the fans in New Orleans who are going to be heading to Miami. All right, let's show some documents that you brought from a previous yeah. scam. The this first is a one letter here. Yeah, this is insidious. This is one that went out to Steelers fans after they won the championship game last year. Look, they got the NFL logo. They even had the actual address of the NFL saying that you won something. What did you win? Super Bowl tickets, but you have to send them $3,000. You know what? A lot of people did. Hmm. And you know what? They didn't go to the game, and they lost their money. So what's the lesson from this one? The lesson from this one, if they tell you you've won something, throw it out. All right. The next one uh, was sent around the World Cup. Yes. And the first thing I noticed when I saw the paperwork, it has spelling errors. Is that a red flag? It was to me. Oh, I would, I would have given it a D. I mean, the point is, not only spelling errors, grammar errors. Gra grammar errors, everything you can possibly imagine wrong in this. But you know what? When you're a fan of soccer... It's amazing how you forget you've won nothing again. Again, they've told you you've won something. Send okay. money. Same red flag. All right, the, the next one is a postcard promising a travel package. Yes, and, and it has the Ramada logo, which would make people think it's legit, but we called Ramada. They said they had no idea what this was all they'd about. They'd never even heard of it. By the way, bottom line is the word that you have to watch out for is package because that presumes, and you're going to make that presumption, uh -huh. that you're going to get the airfare, uh -huh. the hotel, and the tickets. You know where you're going to watch the game? In your hotel room. And you're going to be out of money. You bet. All right, so I know that the government tackled this after the 1994 uh, Rose Bowl. What changed? Bottom line here is no tour operators can offer a Rose Bowl, Super Bowl, Final Four package unless they actually have already purchased the tickets ahead of time. You're protected in that. They are required to actually reveal the number of tickets they've got. All right, now Peter's tips. The first one you say, make sure you're dealing with a trusted travel agency and check what the package offers. How do you know if it's trusted and what do you mean by check the offer? Well, if they're offering you a deal at the Ramada Inn, call the Ramada. Okay. We call them. They'd never heard of it. Okay. There's a good example right there. Number two, always make sure that the dates line up. You'd be surprised how many Super Bowl packages are happening next weekend. Game's not next weekend, guys. <laughs> it's the following weekend. And how do you know if you're dealing with a trusted travel agency? Well, the first thing is, will they take a credit card? And if they take a credit card, you are actually protected under federal credit laws that if you contract for a good or service you don't receive, you can get it back. All right, then you say, pay attention to hotel details. What do you mean by that? Well, when they tell you you're going to a Ramada, where is it, Newark? No, the game's in Miami. <laughs> oh, gosh. Who's going to fall for that? A lot of people because they don't, do, they don't read the fine print. Okay. Remember, you're going to be in the room watching it on a TV in the room. Okay. Finally, always, always pay by credit card. You have to do that. If you don't, anybody who wants a check or cash, you might as well get whatever they send you in the mail, frame it, put it on the wall, because that's about all you're going to be looking at. All right, Peter Greenberg, thank you so much. You got it. We're